There, everyone, Osage Orange here, and welcome to another episode of Midwestern Minecraft. We are here on episode number seven of this series. Do appreciate everybody who has come out. I hope that your guys' time zone, whatever your guys' time zone, is most wunderbar. Let me quickly go ahead here and take care of Discord Landia. So, uh, as to quote um, Commodus from um, the 2000 film Gladiator, Twee has been a busy little bee, getting stuff all done and all that jazz. So, um, I have been... Um, having some fun getting stuff all worked. Uh, you know, even with uh, my recently completed vacation, you know, I would I would have loved uh, to have more stuff gotten done. But of course, um, you know, it's like, I only have so much time in a day. I can only do so much. So, um... I did what I could, you know, between uh, all stuff that I could, so, uh, huzzah! <laughs> and, um, the, um, agenda for today, uh, we're going to do uh, a little bit of specialty mining. Uh, I found some, um, amethyst. Uh, right near our, um, our, um, blub blub, right near our, uh, part of our mine shaft, so, um, we're gonna be doing that, I'm gonna be doing that, Oop, come on, I hate when that happens, right click on something and, uh, you get something else entirely, so... Um, let's see, there's that. Um, let's see, got Minecraft back to, got my, got, I always make sure to make sure my Minecraft world is back up. Let me make sure. Let me perform, yep, yep. Uh, done the anti dum dum We have, I've successfully completed the, um, the anti dum dum check. So let me go ahead. Switch on the main screen for you guys. There we go. All right, here we go. So, uh, show you what some of the stuff I have done. Uh, I have further expanded the food farm, so I now can get five whole stacks of wheat for stuff. Haven't harvested anything here from the sugar cane in a while. Got that a little modified as well. Got the uh, hill here modified on this side, so it's a little easier to get up and down from the food farm. The Grand Causeway, or as I've said before, the Bling Bridge, uh, has been modified. I've added some extra bling to it, because I'm getting so much freaking copper. I have got copper like you guys wouldn't believe. Even just using a non-fortune pickaxe for mining, I've finally got some mining done. Some serious mining done. And as part of my stuff of the underground adventures, uh, I've taken our former little pool here and really expanded. It is now the Oxodal Pool. As you can see, I got a number of Oxodals uh, swimming there. So I made sure to dig it down, make it bigger so that th they have a nice little swimming area. Just I thought, you know, I don't want these Oxodals to die. Let's, 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 let's. Let's take that little pool I got here underneath the bling bridge, make it a nice steep thing, and look at that. They have a nice big, they have a, comparatively speaking for them at least, they have a nice little swimming pool that they can, um, they can go around and enjoy. So, um, as part of building up the horse stalls, we'll get to that here in a second, um, our first, as theorized, our first hobbit hole. Da da! It's, there's not much of it left, I'll tell you that for a fact. There is not much of it left. This is about all that's left. So, 
a little personal hobbit hole there, um, has been succeeded by the second hobbit hole. So, as you guys can see, I've got quite the expansive amount of space here. Uh, with stuff, let's see, I need, while we're here, so there's my tool chest, uh, there we go, I need this, I knew I was going to stop and show you guys that, so, um, I knew I needed to go pick up my silk touch, so yeah, all horse stalls here in the entr in the, uh, entrance, uh, done. We've got, of course, the mud brick right here. Like I said, uh, as I've, I think I said it before, is um, or I recall saying it before, it's like I'd like to have fired mud brick. That that would look cool, you know. Have it have it more of a a darker brown, you know, not quite like the dark oak here, but you know, something more along that line. Maybe even some sort of sear marks. That would be swell. So yeah, I have gotten everything done. We, uh, I've also, because of the way things were, my OCD kind of got tripped off. Originally, all these stalls were flush, you know, that uh, the dark oak here on that first stall on both sides, that was originally flush with the stone brick. My OCD started going off, so thank God I thought about it before I really got anything else constructed. Um... Got, uh, got the, all this stuff moved over a block, so. While it may no longer be in line with this stuff right here, you know, the, uh, the edges, like I wanted, at least we got something. And it's actually, you know, it's uh, a little bit in line with this, so, in a way, in a way. You know, I'm not going to redo the whole freaking downstairs just because I realized that my OCD was off, so... Um, show you that it's this side. So yeah, over here in this stall and part of that one, this is where we used to have our old hobbit hole here. And um, before I take you guys downstairs, I'm going to tell you part of the agenda for today. We're going to take this area. I, I had thought originally about perhaps having more horse stalls, you know, so sort of more space, but instead. Uh, you know, having horse stalls here, but instead, we're going to turn this into an observation lounge. So is that we, um, for downstairs, you know, we'll, um, essentially turn it into, uh, a whole thingamabob over here so we can have a nice little lounge that, you know, you can peer out into the world. That's going to be part of our agenda today, is working, getting that stuff started. But of course, I need to show you the, guys the rest of the stuff. So, don't we'll have to worry about showing you everything. So, got, I'm not sure how much stuff I got to show you, but here is the um, drop chute all the way to the bottom, to the lower mining works, and then here's to the main mining works. Uh, we'll head all the way down stairs first. So, I have gotten started doing some mining here. Um, both of these guys are done. Oh, excuse me. And uh, as you can see, it's a nice little area. So, we'll probably do some more mining down here. I don't intend doing as much mining down here as up on the main mining works level. But at least do some. It's, of course, going to be our source of cobble deep slate. Let's see. Ah! See the other reason why we're here. So it's, we're here for the um, stuff down here. I'm gonna go and just chuck it down my mine cut right there. Um, should be taking you guys to the main level first, but we're gonna as soon as I show you off the main level, we're gonna come back down here and we're gonna come and harvest all this amethyst. Let me quickly take you guys back up top side. Well, middle side. Unfortunately, the uh, system is not set up for receiving from lower to from lower end to mid end, so 
enough to take a quick stroll, as you guys can see. Took it up. So, got a delivery system from all the way down at the bottom where you see. That's exactly, this is exactly what I was talking about. Anywho. Um, those guys come up here. They go up there. As you can see, I've got a nice little uh, workings area here for uh, stuff. So basically, stuff comes up from the lower mining works, gets fed in here. We have stuff coming up here from underneath the smelter from the main mining works. Got all this up here. So um, basically, you know, it's all filing down stuff. I'll go ahead and show you guys Dosh Schmelter got access here. Well, at least the place where I plan to have Dosh Schmelter. I've already done some prep work for it. Um, you know, you can see the layout of Dosh Schmelter. Uh, basically got a little bit of an access right here over here to the uh, rest of the area. Also got our underground, underneath the smelter thing. So basically, yeah, this is basically where the smelter is going to live. I just sort of, you know, went and laid stuff out so that I would can have the... Um, still working on the prototype, but at least have the ability to uh, start working on building up this month. I need to, of course, need to get a whole bunch more iron. So, like last world, um, since we have the smelter in the midst of the mining shaft, going to go ahead and mine as much as I can um, behind the smelter. That's why you see all the torches along the wall, you know, the traditional two, two, one, two, side gallery, one, two, side gallery sort of thing. That's the whole plan. Now, let me take you guys underneath, under the underworks, or the, the, the bottom works. The extraction works, there we go. That's the word I was looking for, extraction works. So I'm decided to use the lava as illumination and have it be a little nice and wide sort of thing. Yes, I know I could have narrowed it here, but then that would kind of block off the lava. And all this stuff up here is going to go up to where the lava is going to be. Since I haven't started uh, working on the specifics of the smelter, of course I have to leave the space here open. But as you guys can see, you know, got a nice... Well, ooh, forgot to torch there. Oopsie poopsies. But, um... As you guys can see, we've got uh, the personnel line right there, and then five delivery lines. Three from mine ops, and two from the smelter. That'll be the two right here, and then the three in the middle are just the delivery lines from the smelter. So that's uh, this has been a lot of work that I've gotten done so far. So let's go ahead here. We're going to go on our little uh, adventure. Go get this amethyst stuff, and then I'll be able to seal this up. So, Let's see here. I'll take the smooth basalt. Yeah, when I was busy uh, getting. Um, uh, stuff over here started, and I was like, what the heck is this stuff here? And, you know, I was getting the, the smooth basalt and the calcite. It's like, what the heck am I getting? And I was like, oh, oh, it's the, uh, stuff. sure what the he is the silk touch on these guys. Can I use a regular pick? 
Ah, ah. Ha <laughs> ha. Tree, tree remembered correctly. Well, at least I can make a telescope now. <laughs> Twee feels smart. At least I see. I this is why I wanted to bring along my silk touch, the just in case. Right. Let's, let's see. Uh... That. Did I? Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead here, head back up. That being the afternoon sun is kind of uh, messing with my. I mean, I've got plenty of windows, but it's all, all that extra sunlight is kind of messing me up with the, uh, stuff more than I'd like. That's an idea. Let's see here. Back to the... What's it here? Up oh, wrong direction, Twee. Department of Dove. Aha. We'll just make it rain. Some torches so I can bloody see. Makes me think of um, jingle bells a little bit, the way the uh, the amethyst here sounds. Very pleasant sound, I'll tell you that for a fact. on it there for a little bit. Torch there. That tells it's fairly easy to mine. Pick up the stuff we've dropped on the floor before it all despawns. I might make some sort of like some sort of treasure room. Hey, Barbels, how you doing? Pick that up. There we go. <clears throat> How you doing there, uh, Gnome? Glad to see you, uh, you got a um, motorcycle. Hopefully, I'd remember, use a helmet, dude. God, I wish I didn't have so much sunlight coming through my windows. I praise the, uh, being a twee, I praise the sun, but uh, 
same time, it is, uh, um, gosh, it is so annoying having so much sunlight, makes it hard to see. Yep, that's what it is, Verbals. It's Perch and Winner. Let's get all the... I love the sound of the amethyst. Let me get all the smooth basalt, too. I might... Ooh. I'm kind of curious now. Curious. Let's see, it's oh, careful, Twee. Don't don't break anything. Can I? Oh, there's another. Uh, it's starting to grow more amethyst. Huzzah! Can I help this? I did. Oh my God! It's a small amethyst bud. Ha ha! Cool. What? I got. Four amethyst clusters. Let's see. Um, all right, so I can't use uh, basalt for anything. I know I can use deep slate. Let's check that in there. Can we use uh, this um, calcite for anything? Yeah, I might use these guys in conjunction with. Uh, oh, I I know that burbles. I know that. Yeah, I might use the calcite. And the basalt for something. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure what I would use. I definitely want to use the um, the amethyst for um, for some sort of uh, treasure room. Especially like the little yeah. Definitely want to use the amethyst for some sort of bling room. Not sure if I'll use the calcite. Now let's focus. I'm starting to get tired of knowing that I really can't use the calcite for much. I think we'll focus more on the, uh, let's just get the, um, This. Oh, up there, up there. I need more torches. I should have some down here. makes me think of uh, bells for like Christmas. Oops. I got the calcite, so. get started doing uh, our work on the ob observation area, so. God, it is so pleasing to hear. I mean, in some ways it's a little annoying, but Still amazing to hear in Twee's opinion. Makes me think back to um, the um, <laughs> um, um, 
the, 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 uh, um, the spell song cycle, I was like, I was thinking of Anna Marshall, the first pr series protagonist, I was like, it's not the Anna Marshall series, I know, there's a series title for a series, and I was like, oh, the spell song cycle, duh! Get this guy. Look at that. We have got a lot of um, blocks of amethyst. Definitely use that. Ooh, we could also use that in like my throne room. I think I'll leave this uh, thing here open. Let's see. That way I can come back. Um, or better yet, seal it up. I should have some... There's some more deep slate tile. I knew I had more deep slate tile here. That's torches. Let's see. Torches! I'll actually leave the basalt uh, and uh, calcite down here. Let's see. Let's, uh, I don't get tough storage here somewhere. Hello. There it is. I was like, I know I was putting my touch here somewhere. What was that saying I could do with that? Oh. Ooh. I didn't know that. To make the uh, shards right back into a block of amethyst. Huzzah. See, I'll put a torch right here. So I remembered that that is, yeah, here is our access to our lava. Over here, my current lava pool. I need to do some more mining it down here at some point to get um, some more obsidious. But down over here is our part of our lava stuff. You can hear it bubbling and blooping right over here. So right over here is uh, obsidian and some of our lava. So torch this up. So. I remember where I need to go. Don't be a dum dum twee. Yeah, this area over here where our mi where our mine is. That this used to be a huge thing of lava, but I've been using all that lava for um for other things. Usually for ooh, there we go. There's that. I need to come get some more. I thought I thought I still had a few things to do over here. Let's see, go and put this uh, these guys back. Got what I came for. Yeah. Well, when it comes to Minecraft burbles, I um. I don't really play modded. Um, I have played some modded in the past, but for me personally, I prefer vanilla. Yes, it's a challenge. Yes, it can be tedious, but yes, the inevitable be UTT. Um, uh, it it's worth it. All right, so let's we're gonna deposit this stuff there for now, so I don't have to worry about it. Let's head back upstairs, fully upstairs this time. I know that there's the um, in the Nether a couple updates back there was the Nether update with the uh, the strider whatever it's called uh there in the the nether i was like i wish i could have a monster like that you know uh help me out here so um any who's let's see let's go i got mending on this pick wait let's let's wear it down some let's see let's get that out of my 
Hot bar. Let's get those torches right there. So let's go ahead here. Oh, wait. I do need that subtouch, actually. Because I'm going to pry up. Oh, twee, you done goofed. Twee, you done goofed. Oops. Double done goof. Yeah, it's another portal. I hear ya. Because I'm going to bring this up a block. I'm going to have to move this up a block as well. Let's see here. We'll go ahead here. Oops. Chuck those guys there. I just remembered something. I got, I got more torches downstairs. I knew I was forgetting some from downstairs. Let's go get some torches. Head back over here to this guy over here. Where I am some torches. Oh. My reserve torches right there. See, this is why I normally keep the switch like this, is so that it'll end up right here. Because, of course, the way, you know, the uh, switches work, you know, if it's gone this way, go all the way downstairs, and if I'm coming here, yeah, that's, um, I understand, I understand. In, in some ways, I'm a little burned out myself, but that is part of the reason why I play other games. You know, there will be times where I'll be mining and I was like, I need a break. And I was like, I want to play a game. I don't want to, I need a break for playing Minecraft. Let's play something else. All right. So what we're going to do, first thing, we need to, um, now I can get rid of this. Let's put these spare torches. We'll put them here with the lighting. Keep a, we'll also put our silk touch pick right there. Uh, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to bring this up a level um, right here. So basically, uh, we'll keep the markers right there, but I want to bring this up a level. And um, we'll first start out doing this right here. This is why we need the torches. So we're gonna make uh make our way up here to the um um stuff here. Ah, oh, there we go. We'll probably have this become probably right here where this torch is. We'll probably make this a wall. So is that um. Ooh, Twee just gave himself an idea. We can use that calcite and make uh, the lounge here a little bit of a bling room. So we'll have to go back downstairs any hoozle. But first, we'll first get started with the stuff here. Oh, we could use the basalt, too. You know what? We could use the... We'll have to see how much I get. And we also... Oh, that's another thing we need to do while we've got... While we're going to have access here to the uh, ceiling, we also need to bling up the floor here. I mean the ceiling of the um, of the base with our glowy with our glowy glow and the copper. Okay. 
near somewhere. Let's see where we are. Aha! Okay, so I found the edge of the wall. Okay. So. We'll follow the w edge of the wall here. Have the wall be our guide. Contact. All right. Okay, let's go quickly get all the debris that's fallen. Okay, so let's see, move that that Let's see, that there I'll have to fill this back in with stuff but we'll worry about that here in a bit Head here and uh, you know, started right here. Get a little bit, little better maneuverability are going around. Let's see here. Put that there. Back where it belongs. Let's quickly head to bed. It's night time. Let's go ahead and fall through our hole. Ow. Nighty night the tween. Let's go have some sleeps. Ah. Come over here. Start on this side. <laughs> Irony! That is very ironic there, Burbles. Now, I do have a plan for um, doing uh, stuff beyond what we've got here. Um, explain that part of that. Well, make sure you get a tree field there uh, going as well, Burbles. That way uh, you can have uh, a source of lumber to build stuff. Or build stuff with. This all. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Yay! Like I said, do make sure you take care of us twees, so. Uh... Please do many things in the world. Torch there. Did I? Oh. Ah. 
I was wondering why that felt off. Did not place a, uh, what's it right there? Like I should, oh, unless I snagged it up, it looks like I snagged it up, so, eh. Use that end of sight there, it's a bit of fill stone. Come on, there we go. this let's do the at minimum the current minimum this So, back to the little thing I was thinking about. We'll quickly go down this way. Um, sort of the stuff I have planned to um, change up the bit, work things out, and we're going to be having, like I said, we're going to have to change some of this stuff right here in the ceiling. Let's see here, can I... Does this show up? Let me see. Not sure. Uh, see, it's not showing up as I'd like. I'll make sure to post uh, post a link here to stuff I find. There we go. I found a thing here on Imager. Let's see. Post a link here on here in chat to what I found. Um, it's just a still image from um, the Hobbit film, you know, the uh, the throne room. And then uh, let's see. Then here's the other thing. Uh, yeah, that's the, if you haven't seen the Hobbit film, uh, Burbles, that's the throne room of Erebor before Smaug took over the Lonely Mountain. And then that second image is from uh, the um, Lord of the Rings when the Fellowship was going through... Uh, uh, Moria, a.k.a. Casa Doom. Um, that's sort of what I have uh, planned, is that this area here, you know, I'm gonna, we're going to have a little bit of a space, a little bit more of a space, but it's going to open into that sort of, uh, I want to evoke that sort of style going out this way into this grand hall in there, uh, the throne room. And uh, up here, 
I'm gonna eventually tear this tear this stone out, or at least some of it out, the stone brick, so that you know you can look out into the hall. You know, have this view. You know, literally have a view of once you know once we all all the stone here cleared out. You're going to have a literal view of the hall going, and then, of course, you can also view out. So, that is the plan. So, you know, it's, and then, well, I'm going to have, you know, like, saw, you know, uh, hall, you know, passageways branching off from that. And, um, I was also thinking might, uh, have some sort of feasting area as well. You know, like, you know, have, um, let's get this done. At least doing this a little bit. That's it. We're, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to go get the, all that calcite and that basalt. And, uh, want to use that stuff to, uh, we're gonna have to fill this part here in, but we're gonna keep the, uh, the floor stuff right there but um yeah basically have you know the view being able to go out this way and then the um the view in is sort of what i'm thinking let's see let's go get a little bit of fill stone i know i got some over here in the uh second hobbit hole I got the first of, got a lot of andesite, oh. diorite, I'll just use the andesite, that's what I've got uh, the most of. But yeah, that's uh, that's sort of my vision there, Burbles, is to um, and we'll make. I think we'll make the walls out of the basalt and. Um, oops! Why well, am I coming down here? Well, I'm not coming down here. Twee. So relieve myself of all this cobble I've got. Let's make sure I've also anti-dumbed -dumbed over here. Make sure I haven't taken out stuff. No, thank goodness. Two, one, two. Yeah, just go ahead and pass it and pass it. Give it a quick OCD check. Quick OCD check. Let's see here. Stowage, there we go. You there. Put in the dirt. Do I want to fix my pick now? Do I want to wait? A, I think I'll wait a little bit more before I fix my pick. I've been really working these guys hard, these four furni right there. Been working them hard, getting stuff smelted. So I should have a bunch of uh, XP that uh, I'll be able to use to, with this uh, pick right here to get it fixed. So that's why I was thinking, do I want to wait or not? And I was like, yeah, twee, wait. We'll get more out of it. So yeah, what we'll do is first we need to clear stuff out. <clears throat> Excuse me, and um, get. Uh, we'll take some of our cut, the cut copper that I've got. Oh, that's another thing to do. Detour, distraction, destruction. Need to go get some more beeswax. I had to move my bees around because I was finding that the fire kept killing them. I also moved the um, the things away from 
some stuff. I'd rather have angry bees versus uh, um, torch. Thank you. I'd rather have angry bees versus um, dead bees. So I got I moved them away. Originally had them along the wall here. So I just uh, eventually just um, mm -hmm. went ahead and moved uh, all the uh, the hives and um, all that that I brought over. Eventually just moved them here so as that uh, they don't die from either suffocating in the in the glass or. Um, I uh, dived from the fire, so. Put my shears there. Nah. What it really is, Burbles, is the Department of Duh! That's what it really is, is the Department of Duh. Let's go ahead here, put our thing there. Yeah, that's what it really is, is the Department of Duh. Oops. A real Department of Duh moment. Well, I went down instead of up. But then again, I'm used to going down, not up. Get this knocked back a little. But um, no. so once we get the uh, the floor moved up, we'll um, we'll follow the same pattern to um, the f uh, stuff here. As we have uh, down on the main floor, so basically we'll follow, you know, the little uh, copper pattern here, uh, right here. So, um, and once we get that done, and then we'll put up the additional um, copper and glowstone, and we'll be able to work on the ceiling walls and ceiling. Because basically, I want to be walking on this level. I, I want to. That in case uh, I decide to make changes later, I don't have you know the the ceiling for uh, the main entryway there by the horse stalls, looking like something for a some sort of weird party room. I was like, I don't want people going, "What the heck is this?" You know. That's why I found the double thick floor, while a pain in the arse to install, is often worth the trouble. More than often worth the trouble. And, uh, and here's one thing I'd like to think about in this case, is that I'm getting more, uh cobble that I'll have to smelt. And because of, of course, work and all that, and this is going to be, doing this base is going to be taking a while. So, you know, that is part of the plan. Of course. So I do not mind taking my time doing this. Um... I know that um, um, at least for this week, this is what we're going to be doing is working on this stuff, getting this stuff all worked up, you know, uh, this episode and next, working on stuff here, pick up all this cobble. And um, 
So what we'll probably be, be doing next, uh, after is, um, um, because I'm going to have to do, be doing a lot of mining, uh, getting stuff ready and all that. Um, I'll probably be laying, uh, some sort of foundation stuff for the throne and feasting room. And, um, for stuff there. Torches! Torches! There we go. Flea feels better now. Go ahead here. Torch there. But, um, yeah, the, uh, the plan will be for the next area to, uh, you know, start working on, um, um, the, uh, the throne room area for our next phase of construction. And Twee has in his, um, canopy the idea for, oh, that's right, um, Oh. It's daytime. I thought it was nighttime. <laughs> show show us how much how you can easily lose track of time doing mining stuffs. Anywho, um, um, I'm thinking that for next week, um, we'll take a break from construction stuff. I have found, um. And I have piloted routes, of course, to them. Um, I found another fortress and an end fortress. Oh, copper. More copper. I'm just even using my regular pick here, and I'm still getting a ton of stuff. 39 copper. I'm not going to be doing more cut copper, that's for sure. I mean, I like how, you know, it it, ha it adds character to copper, but I'm not going to literally be creating so much extra copper that I'll, that I'll be driving myself crazy. There might be something to do here in this area, too, is use copper. That's why I went and got the bees, so. So, um. I want to hold, I do know somewhere, I think I've seen, I've uh, got some more ameth access to amethyst, but, um. Um, for the moment, I'm going to hold that am the amethyst we harvested today in reserve for, um, um, the throw. There we go. There's some torches so I can see. I'm going to have to wait until we get this all dug out. This pick is about worn out. It's a good thing I got mending on it. go do another uh, dump of uh, stuff here. Probably do that as soon as we get this little thing done. We'll probably also get a butt ton of levels. 
Might have to do some sort of venting on levels. Do some enchanting. Fortunately, I have an enchanting table. Definitely want to make a nice, splendid throne room. All right. Now, this is how I always build my stuff, is one step at a time. One step at a time. So let's see how much stuff I get. Holy heck! That was a lot of stuff. As anticipated, a lot of levels. All right, let's go ahead and deposit. All right, let's uh, see here. I'm going to, I literally got for my stuff here. I literally have a copper side and a regular side, you know, Got some iron up here ready to be smelted. So I'm going to quickly chuck my stuff in here. Let's get torches out of the way so I'm not torching up stuff. Uh, let's see. Can enchant that guy. Let's enchant these guys. Let's see, where is. There's my lapis. Do some enchanting. At least we can vent some levels, so. Chest of this. Um, there we go. Let's see here. There we go. That's more like it. Whenever possible, I like keeping myself at low levels. So as um, whenever I do go um, repair stuff. Uh, use my furnaces to um you know get uh make repairs and all that um repair my tools and all that and um see I'm gonna do have some netherite in reserve so if I accidentally break these tools I'll have to do, do some more netherite mining, of course, at some point, but um, that is not my concern right now. So yeah, it's uh, like I said, I want to have a like I said, I want to have a grand hall with a feasting area, and then we'll branch out from that. I just you know that's how I do this: is one little bit at a time, one little bit at a time. This past week was vacation. I've been, a, despite the fact that I've also been doing some IRL stuff, which I need to do, needed to do, have adventures beyond just sitting around at home here at home and gaming all the time. Um, oh, that's an idea. Might do like a. Um, A thing where uh, have uh, some uh, some Y pillars. I know I got plenty of brick to do. We might do some Y pillars here in the uh, um, in the observation area.
sure if I want to do them downstairs or not, too. Take a quick gander here. You know what? I, I might... Yeah, I might do some Y pillars down here. Down the center. Now, true, that would kind of block the, uh, the nether portal. The view of the nether portal as you come in. But coming in, you know, you see these... Wah pillars, you know, going up from, you know, and going up to, you know, a little bit of support. Wouldn't have to be a broad head on the Y pillars. But at the same time, we might, I might actually do that. Wouldn't have to be a fully broad head, as I said, so. Let's go ahead here and this going. I have so much cobble, but then again, I have the capability to stow all this cobble. I think I've already used a butt ton of cobble, resmelted it into uh, stuff. I know I got more uh, clay downstairs. Been getting bunches of clay. That's why I was thinking about using. That's why I'm thinking about using uh, Y columns because um, the source of inspiration for the Y column, the place I've been to a number of times, they've got uh, columns with um, made of brick, and uh, they're not. Uh, pointed arches, but more rounded arches, and obviously it's, uh, you know, that's good to get that same sort of aesthetic of a rounded arch versus a pointed arch would be um, a little bit harder for me. I would need a lot more space, so that's why, you know, I often use the Y pillars as, uh, as their own thing. A couple there. Go ahead here. Do that. There we go. Now, like I said, I had been thinking about making this area here into more horse stalls, but as I was doing, uh, making up the ones I had with all the, uh, the brick, the, uh, mud brick, I was like, nah, nah, nah. I'm going to save myself some trouble, and then I was like, wait a minute, I can use that instead to make, um, a lounge area. Well, I also wanted to, you know, bring it up a block so that, like I said, we don't have, have the, um, um, have the, um, stuff interfering with one another. Couple, couple for days. Oh, we got a three. See, this is also why I want to use the Y column, because the Y column is three wide. It is literally, that's why I want to put it down the center. So, um, I'm just going to take these two. It's just easier to do two at a time for me.
Just realized I had a notification on my phone, needed to see what it was, so. Cobble for days! Yeah, we'll definitely be doing a lot of this out of stone brick. So once we get uh, through with the couple weeks that we'll be, three weeks um, that we'll be playing uh, MC here. Um, oops, come on, tree. Put your cursor down, not up. Not quite ready to go up there just yet. Um, I will be continuing. I need to do some more work. I'll probably take a, a break uh, after work tonight. Um, to um, um, do some more work on the smelter prototype. And uh, of course, between um, this session, the end of this session and next, I'm gonna do a lot more mining, as well uh, uh, down in the ma main mines, as well as work on stuff in the throne room. Now that we're done here, temporarily torch stuff up so I can see. Don't got, even though I'm working on peaceful, I tend to avoid wanting to invite the baddies over. So let's go ahead here. We're going to quickly empty out our stuff. Stone brick. I do. I do. I don't have much. Most of it's down stairs, so we'll we'll fire up. Um, fire up these two guys there. these guys into stone brick. There we go. Oops. Get those started. Get those guys uh, working there on getting some uh, stone up so we can have our uh, stone brick. Oh. Oops. Quickly take a qu quick sleeps. You can see, like I said, I have literally got copper for days, so let's go ahead here. One, two, three. Make that all into wax, cut wax copper, and uh, oops. Where there it is. Also needed to remember to get uh, glowy glow as well. So let's see here. I'm going to initially mock. Our stuff here. Let's see here. Empty dum dum. Let's see here. 
up the uh, blocks of glowstone there. Yeah, I think we'll leave the, uh, the stairs where they are. There we go. But we will put uh, glowy glow right here. That's right, we can also do waxed copper stairs too. All right. So that's there. It's gonna be the wall. So uh, let's uh, self touch. Twee almost dum dum. Self touch. Twee. Be less of a dum dum. Less of a dum dum. The less damage, damage you do, the better things will be. That and pick it, some such pick. And that's gonna be the wall, so uh and replace oh wait a minute. Well it's we're gonna build on top, so we can actually keep it right there. Duh <laughs> Here I am thinking of stuff already, and uh, I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. What else is new? All right. So now, what we're first going to do, let's see, it's uh, four blocks. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, and five. Two, three, and five. Two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four. Oh, all right. this guy lines up perfectly. Now all we need to do is line these guys up. go down the stairs and pick up all our uh, stone brick here in a moment. Yep. Lined up. There we go. Let's go ahead and we'll on this side, at least, we'll install the glowy glow as, as well as along the center line. And then we'll go, we'll go pick up our uh, stone brick. I'll find some way to recycle it, of course. Then what we'll do, oh, I forgot this guy. Boop. Let's see here. There's that guy, yep, in the line. Not always easy trying to figure some of this stuff here out, so. Okay. So now, see this guy. Let's bring this guy into line there. Bring that there.
Oops. Want that there, Tweed. Don't be a dum dum. Want that there. And that there. There we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and pick up our mess. Oh, I just realized I almost forgot that guy. Silly Twee. Silly, silly twee -ivy. Silly, silly twee -ivy. Silly, silly twee -ivy. What's that? Okay. Let's go ahead and place up our glowy glow again. about the specific steps top side here after a while so well, now that we're gonna have our uh, since this is gonna be the wall we'll only worry about putting a copper here on the edge I think but we might not do that too all right let's detorch this is about to become a new construction zone. No, actually. We just had a thought. Since this is going to be more a more intimate space, I might use uh a slightly modified version of the um, the um, system here. For the lighting scheme. Twee's, twee's canopy uh, it's got some design elements going on in it. We'll still retain the original theme. You see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So. Oops. Exactly what I'm talking about, guys. Oops, that was a boo boo. Oopsies. Double oopsies. Um, this is going to be covered. Save that block right there. Save putting it down. Go ahead here. Let's at least get the stuff removed here on the center line. We'll go downstairs and uh, go sleep. Get our stone brick back. Go take a nap, Burbles. Naps are wunderbar. Sleepy sleeps. Get our stone brick back. This is why I love 
doing a two level thing at times is that it save a lot of time and trouble. All right, let's go ahead and start putting in our waxed copper here. But I felt good. <laughs> Oops. Oops, that double boo boo, double boo boo edge. All right, let's go ahead here. So I have the means to fix it. Come on, stop. There we go, treat. One of those oopsie poopsie sorts of moments. We'll quickly install the cut copper and then we'll go downstairs, retrieve our stone brick and, uh, We'll see how things look. Oops. Another oopsie poopsie moment. Oops. Ah, I hate it when I keep doing that. Up first, and then we'll admire our handiwork. It's looking good. Yeah! Yeah! Twee likes! Twee likes. With the uh, copper being what it is, and with the glowstone. Yeah! We will have, like I said, I do want to uh, put in the center, you know, the Y columns. I'm thinking I'll probably do them like in between the glowstone. Like I'll put uh, one right here, take a break, one right here, break, one right here, break, one right here. You know, that way... Um, you know, have them go lengthwise, not widthwise. Because obviously it'll be three, and so, you know, one, two, three, four. Well, yeah, I'll, I'm going to normally do five. I might, I'm going to have to figure out a, I'm going to have to do a th four instead of a five or so, but that'll be all right. That'll be all right. Let's go ahead and get back up topside. Put away our copper for now. Wait, do it. 
Don't I? I think I have stairs somewhere. I think I got them downstairs. <laughs> downstairs. Stairs are downstairs. Go ahead here. I'm gonna do. It. Cut that into some stairs. Oh, now we need to make sure I activate the thing. I think I got, like I said, I think I got some downstairs here. Somewhere. Else. There we go. Take two more stairs. Yep. It was like I should have a stone cutter down here. Since I got more uh, stone being smelted up topside, I'm not going to worry about coming down stuff, coming down with stuff, so. Arrgh. All right, let's go ahead here. I'm not going to worry about um, stuff here, so. The copper. It's meant to be more plain up here. So let's see here. I definitely want to retain the um, the basic floor theme. Ooh, can I put some copper there? I'm coming up from the downstairs, going to retain that up here. Move that. We'll use that to uh, as a copper spot fill those in. But it'll be in here that um, we need to start a slightly different theme. So, let's get stuff here out of the way so I'm not having to worry about it. Excuse me, I gotta quickly go use the little trees room, guys. I will be right back.
Sorry about that, guys. But as I've said plenty of times, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Well, look who it is. Twee cat, twee, twee's white cat just came out from underneath the blankets. Hello there, white cat. Hello. How are you? Oh, don't you woof at me. You may think you're master of the Twee house, but you are not. You are not. Just a second. Yeah, White Cat might think he is master of the Twee house, but Twee is Twee. Twee is his own master. Let's see here. God. I think we'll put a uh, thing here, but without the, um, oops, without a uh, thing of copper around it. And of course he wants right back in. I think that's him knocking on the door. Yep, yep. That'll work. That'll work. Glowstone there. And glowstone there. There we go. Just a second. I'm going to make sure that's not him knocking on my door. Just a second. Of course it is, White Cat. Hi. I has you. You're going to turn on your jet engine so that the audience can hear? You're going to jet engine? Or are you just going to woof at me? <gasps> we have white cat chat. You is a happy white cat. All right, there you go, little one. He's probably going to slide into give me attention, tree daddy. Give me attention mode. All right. So let's go ahead here. Need to go get ourselves, let's see, 25 copper. And he's sliding into attention mode. Put our stuff there away for the moment. Away too. Just the thing I was looking for. Duh. we can do um let's see here this is one of the benefits of having a uh again this is one of the benefits of having an upper floor to work on is that don't gotta worry about matching the theme of the floor below this is why, you, like I said, you know, you don't see, you know, one thing on the floor and see a totally different thing that's meant for the floor of the next level up on the ceiling of the lower floor. 
So basically what I am going to try to do, I'm going to keep those three guys up there where they are. Make that sort of a little deck area. Let's see. Yeah, we'll make that sort of a deck area here. So, um... Yeah, that looks cool. So getting to see the oxodles in the pool from the hide up here. Oh my god, that is so cool. Um... We're going to also keep the spine here, so let's go ahead. Let's go get our torches, not torches, glowstone back. Glowy glow. Our silk tent right there. Put our stuff there. So we'll... We'll keep the spine going. Center spine. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Ah, ha, ha. Yes. Okay, so... Yes, we have a floor plan. Won't have uh, stuff there. We'll keep we'll keep that wall like where it is. But aha, we have a floor plan. Want a little bit more? Um, better use of stuff. For our floor here. It's better to do it like this. I'm going to go take a break here. I know I had to go use, do, do that emergency little trip to the trees room a moment ago, but uh, at the same time, you know, still need to uh, take an official break. So, um, yeah, once we get... Uh, all the glowstone here placed, we'll go take our break, and then we can worry about fitting out the floor. There we go. Twee likes. Twee likes very much. So yeah, guys, uh, let's go ahead here. Let's go take our break. So yeah, guys, go ahead and stand up straight. Get something to drink, use the restroom. I'll see y'all here in a few minutes.
Okay, guys, Twee is back. White Cat was demanding some attention. Yes, I'm still talking to you, White Cat. Um, hi, I see you. What you want? You, you, you're still wanting to be an attention needer. Is what you are. What's your? It's what your. Uh, you're wanting so much attention there, White Cat. So much freaking attention. Ah, silly, silly White Cat. He is, a, he is in definite attention needer mode, so. Anywho, what we're going to do now is, um, just looking for this area, we'll, um, we'll keep this part here clear, but we're going to fill in the rest with, uh, just realized I could have left the thing going, my game going. But uh, we're going to go fill stuff up with uh, some uh, stone brick because I wanted to have it covered in a rug. So we'll go ahead and take a sleeps. Get a little something to drink there. Yeah, I like this. Stone, I can. Do that. Just easier to do that like that. Once again, I didn't target right. Keep the uh, stuff here uh, empty. Let's get rid of the dirt right here. Like I said, we'll keep the space right here by the wall. Uh, free because I want to use the um, the calcite and the smooth basalts to uh, fill that stuff in. Get rid of that dirt in my inventory. Probably that guy. We'll probably these two guys here loose. Kind of want to have them be a part of the uh, the wall I want to get installed here. Then once we get um, the floor here installed, we're going to take it up. Because four to, uh, three doesn't feel quite right. So I kind of was thinking uh, probably at least four. Yeah, let's do four. We'll have a to total of five high. But the fifth block, of course, will be the uh, um, the actual roof. Just go ahead here. We'll do. Oops. Do that. I want a carpet on this, so I'm not going to worry too, too much about the underneath layer. Aside from the glowstone, of course. Oops. Might have, since I've dum dumbed and kind of forgot about stuff, just might have to go downstairs and get some of our stone brick from downstairs. Now let's go ahead and do that. That way we'll have a little bit more stuff to work with. Uh, while we wait for oops, stuff to smoke. It's not the end of the world. 
I should have left it running, but did I? No, Twee said. Let the game rest for a few moments, completely forgetting he was having stuff smelt. Yeah, this, this is starting to feel better. Alright, let's go downstairs and get that stuff. We'll make sure to bring up this roof here, too, so... Um, that's right. Department of Death. metal here. And all that stuff, too, while we're down here. Oops. Wrong way, Twee. Wrong way. Don't be a dum-dum. Be less of a dum-dum. So yeah, I'll do some mining of the uh, bas smooth basalt and calcite off cam for the walls. So let's see here. Um, duh. Copper. Uh, iron. Copper. Coal. Yeah, somebody just sent me a text. Where's my derp? I need my derp. There's my derp. Or dirt. I like to call it derp at times, too. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it when people text me. Just a sec here, guys. I hate it when this happens. It's one of these things where wish, you know, you could take care of stuff only at one time, you know, one thing at a time. Of course, I forgot to pick up all that stone, so. Well, at least we got it. At least we got it. I'll have to fix this, but... In good time, Twee, in good time. That. And like I said, once we uh, get this going, we'll... Um, get... Uh, before I forget. All this done. We'll re 
raise the roof. Oops. Also, I'm also going to have to think about how I want the um, area over here. Uh, but that'll be for us to deal with here in a moment. I wasn't quite ready for you to be there yet, dude. Oops. No torchy torchy. God, God damn it. <laughs> That's got me thinking of Mr. Washy Washy from, uh, uh, from Family Guy. Quite the stereotype, of course. department again. doing that. Alright, there we go. I think we're also going to remove uh, these guys too. They're along the at least to there, so we'll keep the ones here along the uh, what's it. Alright, so now let's see here. I think, uh, let's see, don't need some stuff. Let's go ahead and quickly head to bed here, so uh, have it be daytime, so I can at least have a little bit of light to work with. Boom. Ah. Put our stuff in there. Swap out these guys. Nope. Wrong way, Twee. Wrong way. Let's see here. Because I kind of want to retain the, uh, the grass here. At least a little bit of the grass. So... I'm thinking that um, um, here along the center, we'll place to there. Excuse me. And here. Do that. Hey, DJ, I don't need no thunder booms right now. I don't need no thunder booms. I do need the rain, but no thunder booms, if you please. Okay. All right, 
there's that. Ow. So we'll leave this sort of unfinished as as of right now. Uh, I'm very sure. I am very, very sure because um, I'm in the middle of a I'm in the middle of a construction project right now. done up. We'll take out the, the stone. Yeah, exactly! Exactly! I think that I have this one tweet that I booked by. I think, it, I think the uh, tweet's been deleted. But it shows... Um, a tweet that unfortunately got hit by lightning, and it showed part of the tree's vascular system. And um, I was like, oh my god. And people were saying, oh my god, that looks like spaghetti. Tree spaghetti. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, that's, that is kind of look like tree spaghetti. How are you doing, DJ? Hope you're doing well. Now, now you're making me want to see if I can't find that image again. Making me want to find that image. Let's see here. Ugh. it found re found it yeah well twee is uh wishing he was he wishes it were a week ago there's uh the image of the tree i saw on twitter that's no longer been uh uh no longer there but that is what a tree struck by lightning that has its vascular system exposed looks like So, uh, if you want to know what some of my innards look like, that's what it looks like. It's so freaky that, that that's what my innards, as a twee, that, well, that's what my innards look like. Or some of my innards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is uh, that is not me, of course. If uh, I had been struck by lightning and I had that sort of damage uh, done to me, I would I would uh, probably you know if, would uh, you guys probably if it had happened while I was streaming, you you probably would have said I would I'm gonna be out of commission for a while, guys. My, uh, I got struck by lightning.
Oh, yeah, I wish I was uh, not having to worry about going uh, back to uh, back to work, but unfortunately for me, vacation is over. So, side face. I have to go get some of that stone that I've got smelting away in our smelter down in our second hobbit hole and uh, use that as fill. Probably take some of the stone we got, the cobblestone I got, and uh, put it, run it through it. That. <clears throat> so yeah, what uh, what we're doing here, DJ, is uh, we're um, working on part of my Minecraft base here, and uh, we are um, above the entrance area to base, and we are working here on a um, on our observation area see you know here's the grand causeway aka the bling bridge and um, what we're gonna have happen is um, uh, we're gonna have a little bit of an observation area but this is gonna be sort of a lounge up in here so let's go ahead Deposit some of this cobble into the system here. Uh, let's see if let's get some smooth stone here. Whatever's left, I will transform into stone brick. that. Oh, got some more uh, stuff I missed here. Silly Tweed, don't forget all your cobble. I almost dum dum on that. But of course, uh, that is one good thing about coal is that it will hide until it's until some sort of uh, stuff, uh, construction work or mine efforts reveal it. So, and a little torch block. There we go. And thusly, we have more stuff. I have to go put some more coal into the uh, those two furnaces there, but at least we got a little more to help compensate. Gotta go share my sheep too. You're gonna need more wool, son! More cobble here. If I'm gonna be putting down rugs, carpet, I'm gonna need, uh, I'm gonna need stuff to, uh, make that stuff happen. Is there, uh, I know we got a sandy area nearby. Um, um, a 
let's see here. Um, bleh, bleh, bleh. Too many things going on in my canopy right now. Let's see, uh, there's that coal. Uh, divide in half. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Let's see, uh, stone cutter. quickly shear the sheep and then I, I, is there a, in that sandy area over there is there um, um is there any cactus oh uh, don't place torches we a bunch of nude sheep in the nude I like having plenty of sheep. There we go. Oh. Well, I'll just make sure that they haven't. No, don't. Don't you go out there, you silly critter. All right. To the Bling Bridge. Hello, Oxottles. I know there's a sandy area over here, but I'm not sure if it, I don't remember if it's all desert or not. And if there is, um, I'm gonna have to get a little sand, and we're gonna have to start a cactus farm. I honestly don't know. I don't remember. If there isn't, well, not the end of the world. Doesn't look like it. We need to get up here first. Yeah, it's just looking like a sandy beach, from what I'm seeing. And a slight little bit of lag as new terrain renders. Yeah, it just looks like a sandy area here, dudes and dudettes. No. What the? <laughs> oh my god, a tree. Or... Maybe, a, I don't know, maybe an Enderman was over here. I don't, I'm not sure. It's a spruce log. What the? Did we find some? What in the heck is a spruce log doing here? Did we just found, like, some secret... We just found some guys. Oh wait, we have a buried shipwreck here. We have a buried shipwreck right here. At first, I thought it was some weird spawned-in thing. Turns out we have a shipwreck. Law of unintended consequences. I need, I need to go get my axe. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna... I 
I'm going to have to go and get uh, come back another time. I might do this next episode with the uh, with um, stuff. Um, I'm going to put this here so that uh, more sandy area over there. Ow. Let's uh, just quickly see if there might be something over here. I'm going to have to go dig that thing out. I'm going to have to go whip out my pickaxe. Not my pickaxe, my um, axe. And see, uh, see if um, can't get anything out. Of it. Yeah, this is just another sandy area. Oh, there's another beehive. There's two beehives over here. I'm gonna have to go get my silk touch and make sure. Ooh, let's see. Might be something over here. Doubt it. Hilly terrain with some amount of stuff over there, it looks like. Oh, there's another shipwreck! Without my me and no boat. Lucky if I could even see even a, a base cactus block. Another shipwreck, as I said. Roses over there. Oh, a dolphin! I'm not seeing anything worthwhile in terms of uh, cacti. I've seen those roses over there, those rose bushes. Just. Ooh, let's see, we got some, uh, some on. And gold and an emerald. Let's take the nuggets. Make sure we grab the chest. Free chest. Hello there, white cat. Yes, I think white cat wants that. Yes, I guess. Yep, he wanted out. What cat wanted out? Ugh. So, let's see here. Careful that tree. All right. Sugar cane with us. Ocean here. I don't think I'm gonna have to worry too too much about uh, stuff here. Let's let's go take a quick peek over here at this stuff, and then we'll uh, voyage over to. Uh... Hello, Mr. Dolphin. I don't think there's uh, too much over here that we can worry about. underwater cave system there. Oh, there's a village! A village! Let's go check. Let's go raid the village! Let's see what loot we can get. Got plenty of flowers over here. Coal. Let's go raid the coal. Chicky. 
chicky, chicky chickens. Let's get a view of the villa. Let's get a village view, eh? This look, looks like a decent village. Let's see here. I have a... Uh... Since I'm about to load them, I'll do uh, some community service here. Let's see here. Looks like you have a spare bed. No, you don't. Well, let's see here. Hi. I read your stuff. Actually, I got wood. I can make my own bed. Let's see. Yep. Of course, that takes up all the wood I got. Horsies! Horsies. Guys, I got to raid one of your trees here. Let's see what else have you guys got. What can I raid from here? More taters, bread. Sorry, guys, I've taken all your food. Yes, Twee is bad, but uh, he uh, he has stuff to do. He has a world to dominate. Got a uh, brewing station stand there. Sugar cane over yonder. I read this guy. I think I did. Nope. Nothing to raid. No, I've been there, there. Let's go over here. Oops. Double oops. this Wait a minute. What? oh <laughs> I saw those oak saplings and tree brain went uh ooh uh stuff at least they got some pigs so pigs are wonderful I got a baby villager. Well, they're... It's weird. I'm half tempted to take your carpet. <laughs> but I'm all... Oh, they got a golem. Huzzah. Hello, Mr. Golem. More food. And an emerald! Give me the emerald! I think I've been in this one. Wanted to double check. Oops.
I think I've been in this one, so let's double check. Yeah, I've been in this one. One of those moments where it's just easy to... Just do stuff. to take your dandelion. Oops. That was a boo-boo. Ah. Oh. I don't gotta worry about that oak plank now. Hello, Mr. Stonecutter. <laughs> I, I try to open it. I close the door on him. I try to open it back up for him, and it closes it right back in my face. I've already been in this one. Let's do some more tillage. See what's over here. Some sheep and some cows. More food. Ooh, and another emerald. And at least now I have some more food. Sea turtles, huzzah! I'm gonna quickly poke my. Uh, over here and I think I just saw some cactus I think I'm not sure let's see a turtle was trying to bury its eggs uh, I was just I saw the trees and thought uh, I was getting to see uh, what's it cacti Zephyrs. Let's take the overland route. We'll head back over to where we can be close to that shipwreck. And uh, we'll uh, go get those rose bushes. At least I got to pillage a village. Mr. Golem, how are you today? Oops. Now, if I ever end up back here in town, I'll have to. Come on. There we go. I have to remember to come fix stuff. Hello, Mr. Horsies. Picked up something. having uh, trouble doing that. Do that. Let's head back. Let's start heading back. A law of unintended consequences. Uh, at least we got some stuff done. Hello, cow. I know where I can get some cows now. Oh, wait. I already have cows. Duh! <laughs> Department of Duh. B. Dr. B. Gosh darn it. Now I'm thinking of Harry Partridge tunes. Uh, 
Uh, at least I know where to get some horses now. We should be able to fairly easily make the overland route. We're gonna have to. We got turtles closer to home. Hey, turtle closer to home. I haven't spent too much time in uh, um, uh, any uh, modes be besides peaceful, so. Um, I'm gonna have to see if I can't uh, have like in my um, smelter area, see if I can't perhaps have some uh, slimes spawn in so I can pick some leaves to get these horses back. There they are. These rose bushes. Seeing if they had any, uh, um, blub blub, um, any carrots. There we go. Oh, look, more rose bushes. Huzzah. Now, just seeing the rose bushes here. I really watched a lot of the uh, earlier episodes of uh, Achievement Hunter's uh, Minecraft Let's Play series, and um, I remember that Ray was a big fan of Tuxedo Mask and roses and all that, so head out chicken. So uh, that's one of the things I remember from that, so... There goes the sun, we're going home, we must go on home. Well, the law of unintended consequences actually led to some pretty decent stuff. Found a village, found horses, raided the village, didn't find any cactus, but we did find some roses. Get these, uh, what's it's over here? Uh, peonies, I was like, they're not, they're not dandelions, but they're not the other tall one I was thinking of, too, so. Work our way through our forests. Uh, base, sweet base. Let's do another shearage of our sheeps. Let's quickly go to bed. Make it daytime. Also deposit our stuff. There we go. Let's see here. Uh, wood stuff. Let's all put, put our flowers in there too. Oh, jeez. Time to make up some hay bales. Let's see, mob drops. Uh, now nah, we got books over here. The duh. Book. Sugar cane there. Gold. Let's see. Coal. Oh, right, we can also put that in there. Uh, 
those guys there. <coughs> Excuse me. Put bread there. <laughs> Make an autumn out of what's it? So, uh, hay bales. So. There we go. There's tool chest, put that there. Move around the cow pen. Come over here to the sheepy sheeps. like making sure that I get uh come on sheepy sheep move out of the way you're not getting out it's probably the same one that tried to get out we will have to end here ah fell in the cow pen was that actually about I was distracted because I was taking a look see at the time we are gonna have to end here soon guys so There we go. Oh. Oh, let's get back up here to our before before we all got all distracted on that side quest. All right, stretch there. My trunk was needing a little bit of stretch room. Probably have to stick with. Um, I know that we can do blue, yellow, red, and orange for the time being. So and white, because we got bone meal. I think we got some uh, ink too. Shouldn't be too much to go, but get black or and uh, use that in conjunction with the um, 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 what's it we got? Uh, bone meal. Bone meal. Oh, hello. It's fun seeing the uh, the block update, and it'll quickly quickly appear as a clear air block, and then it'll transfer right back to stone. Good dudes and dudettes, we are. So off camera, between now and Thursday's episode, um, I will definitely go through and um, go back downstairs to the um, to that little what's it and get some stuff uh, mined out. I might even go to one of the other uh, ones I found. I found another one uh, in 
the midst of mining uh, downstairs in the main mines. Don't remember if I found one in the deep mines either. I probably did, but don't remember, of course. Or if I did, I don't remember, so. But then again, it's kind of been a bit since I've been in the deep mines. I got at least enough to be able to, uh, you know, and all the, um, what's it I found? The, um, diamond, you know, I got enough uh, mining down there between all the mining adventures and little whatever. I hear you there now, the portal. I hear you. I'll get, um, I'll, uh, start doing what I can on flowers, so I'll try to decide on a theme, or try to decide on a theme, um, probably go with, uh, blue and yellow and red, that's kind of what I'm thinking, I know I got, uh, ooh, hello. Gotta love it when you get gwabble, not. Let's go fill. Yes, I guess somebody's at the door. BRB. All right, there, guys. Had a ugh, ring at the doorbell there. So, anywho, anywho, it's time for us to go ahead and uh, wrap up. So, um, yeah, I'll finish all this up off cam. Start getting some other stuff done. So, it's time for us to go ahead here have a raid. So, I uh, hope you guys will join me on DOS raid. So, <clears throat> excuse me, let me see who is live, 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 live. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's see who is live, who is live, who is live. Um, ooh, uh, I see a couple people we could go say hi to. Um... Yeah, we raided him recently. Let's not do that. Ooh, hello. See somebody I think we could go say hi to. So uh, if you're watching here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash OsageOrange, please remember to go ahead and hit that follow button. If you're watching over on the YouTubes at youtube.com slash OsageOrangeGaming. Please remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon for notifications. Also make sure to follow on Twitter at twitter.com slash OsageOrange01. So, oh, huzzah. Good, 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 good. I have found uh, our raid target. Oh, make sure you use the right what's it here tree. Let's see here. Make sure I do this right. There we go. 
We're going to be raiding Mark Bros. So go and select the Tree Grove has arrived to bring you Eggnog, Tinsel, Mistletoe, and Good Holiday Cheer. That is our, of course, our holiday raid message. So hope to catch you guys Thursday with another episode of Midwestern Minecraft on uh, Saturday. Remember, I am not sure as of yet. I may have to postpone city building Saturdays to another week for another day at least. So, um... That will depend on IRL things, and of course, hopefully next Sunday, depending on City Building Saturdays and all that, uh, Titan Quest The Loot Grind. So, let's go ahead here, let's get this raid party started, as appreciates everybody who has come out, and I hope to catch you all in the next episode. Ta-ta for now.